Hey there, Mr. Sock. What is it that you have in your mouth? It looks like a subpoena. Let's have a look at that, Mr. Sock. Now, how did we come across subpoenas? It looks like we have three of them. Right. <clears throat> Would you like to explain how we come how we how we were able to get three subpoenas signed for three different deputies, Mr. Sock? Sure. I'll explain it. Just show them the subpoena again. You see that signature there? That's from the clerk of courts um kim chanel really mr sock isn't she a nice lady to sign this subpoena for me she sure is so go on mr sock tell them how we got these subpoenas Sure, Travis. What we had to do was go to the clerk of court's office and pick up some subpoenas. Is that the only way, Mr. Sock? Oh, no. You can also go online onto the Kentucky Court's website and get a download of it and then fill it out online that's right mr sock in fact that's how i did it with this subpoena i went online but you could also pick them up at the office too they have them right behind them their their clerks right so anyway you can send them to Kim Chanel and she'll look them over. Make sure that everything is in order. That you filled out the blanks and and uh, put good dates and, uh, and everything uh, for her standard. And then she'll sign it. That's so cool, Mr. Sock. And then what we do is we take it down to the sheriff's office and ask them to submit this to who do we have here? Deputy Jay Kane, Brendan Weldon, and Ryan Burrell. And my team, me and Mr. Sock. Yep are requesting their uh, discipline and training records from their POPs file. So we need to see those for court because I have a trial coming up with Mr. Sox representing me and we need to have the training records and discipline records from these three deputies who were on scene who arrested me so that we can properly what is it again Mr. Sock? We need that information so that we can cross-examine the off the nice officers properly and also possibly for impeachment. Right Mr. Sock we need that information because we can't have a trial with uh, lacking inf information. We need we need to know all about these policemen's backgrounds so that we can we can have a nice uh, um, understanding conversation with them. Right. So these have been submitted to the sheriff's office, 
and now they're being served to the deputies and now it's up to the deputies to hand over their records to Mr. Sock so that he can read them over and know uh, what questions he can ask them at uh, my trial coming up uh, about April 19th. So it's up to the deputies to respond. It's a part of their their um, th their policies to have to respond in some way to our subpoenas in some way either they get a lawyer themselves and and say they don't have to give me their records or or they give me the records and and we can move forward but uh either way uh that's the next step that's where we're at right now so thank you mr sock and thank you and have a good day